multiple representations, number one. We have a situation that we are going to represent in multiple ways. Here it is. Rex uses two tissues a day. This is a brand new box with 230 tissues in it. Let's represent it. So here's the situation. Rex uses two, two tissues every day. Okay, so how can we like look at this data? After one day with that brand new box, there are 230 tissues minus two that he uses. So there are 228 tissues left. But what about two days? So we have the 230 total tissues and now that it's two days, I have two tissues per day. I'm gonna write that up here. Two tissues per day. This is our relationship. This is our relationship, two tissues per day. So 230 minus two tissues per day and two days. So now we have 230 minus four. So 226. What about three days? 230 tissues, two tissues per day, and we have three days. So 230 minus six. Now we have 224 tissues. Four days, 230 tissues minus two tissues per day times four days. So 230 minus eight, 222. So what am I doing each time? I have 230 minus two tissues per day times the number of days. I could use D as my variable. I could use X as my variable. It's just as long as I define my variable. So my number of days, let's call that X. And then the tissues left, that's gonna be my Y. All right, let's do one more. Five days. 230 minus two tissues per day, five days. So it's 230 minus 10, 220 tissues left. So no matter how many days it is, let's do 10. 10 days of using two tissues a day. 230 tissues minus two per day times 10, so 230 minus 20 gives me 210 tissues left. So no matter how many days I want to kind of figure out how many tissues have been used, how many tissues will be left over, this equation will help me figure it out. So I'm gonna write this as a nice clean equation. Why? that's tissues left, equals 230 minus 2x. And x represents number of days. So what else can we do? A graph would really be a great representation of this situation and this relationship. So let's make a graph. Okay, let's graph it. So this is going to be my x-axis, and over here I have my y-axis. The x-axis is the number of days, 
and my y-axis are the number of tissues left. And here I have zero. So now I need to think about how am I going to number my axes. My highest number of tissues left is this 230. That would be the highest. So let me put that up here at the top. So I'm going to say like this is maybe here is 200. Would that be okay? And then maybe here is 100. Mm, that may not be exactly even. Okay, let me think about it. Here would be 50. Here would be 150. So this looks more like 250. And right here would be 230. Okay, so now let me think about my x-axis. You can kind of see I've been erasing a little bit. That's because I've been trying to figure out the best way to fit it. And when I think about it, I don't really want to know how many tissues are left each and every single day. I want to know about every 10 days. So I'm going to put go by 10s. 10, 20, 30. Now I can start graphing some points. I know after 10 days, there are 210 tissues left. So 10 days, 210 tissues. How am I going to figure out 20 days? So 20 days, 230 minus 2 times 20. So I have 230 minus 40. Well, 230 minus 40... Okay, zero minus zero. Let me borrow from here. Now this becomes 13. 13 minus four is nine, 190. So after 20 days, oh, there's my eraser. After 20 days, about, not about, exactly, 190 tissues left at two tissues per day. So let me pick another data point so I can kind of see how this is gonna look. Let me go with 60. What happens after 60 days? That would be two months. 230 minus two tissues per day times 60 days. 60 times two is 120. So now I have 230 minus 120. 110 tissues left after 60 days. So 60, here is about 110. Look at this relationship that's going down. This is a decreasing relationship. I know that after 30 days, it's going to be around here. I can come over here and figure out 30 days. So 30 days, 170, and you can see how it fits right here in my decreasing relationship. And eventually my tissues are going to run out. Eventually there are going to be zero tissues left. I wonder how many days that'll take. Okay, so here is my table. I'm going to think about this zero tissues left. I don't know how many days it would take. Here, well, I'm not going to write it there. The equation is this. Where does the zero go in this equation? The number of days is x. The tissues left is y. So let's rewrite this. Okay zero tissues left, 230 minus 2x. Well, I can solve this equation. I'm, you could do this a couple different ways. I'm going to move the 2x over here so it's positive, because right now it's a negative 2. Then I'm left with 2x equals 230. 
because 2x plus 0 is just 2x. And now I'm dividing by 2. So 230 divided by 2. Hmm. Nope, not two. One. It's okay to make a mistake and erase it. Three minus two is one. Ten divided by two is five. Hundred and fifteen. So let's go back up to my table. How many days would it take to have zero tissue, tissues left? Hundred and fifteen days. So every 115 days, Rex is going to need a new tissue box. Hey, your turn. I can only find this kind of tissue. It's a smaller box, and there are 92 tissues in a box. Use these details to create multiple representations. So Rex still uses two tissues per day, but now the box only has 92 tissues in it. Create multiple representations that represent this situation and these relationships. Whenever you're done, check your work with mine by using this short link to open up where I've drawn my multiple representations. Have fun!